Uh, thank you for joining us in our walk through the Psalms. Today we're in Psalm 74, uh, which is a unique psalm. It's a psalm of communal lament. Um, it's, it's a dark psalm. It's asking hard questions. Um, and the lament psalms are like this. We know that they're crying out uh, people in their suffering or people um, from dark places. But this psalm is kind of unique because it doesn't spend a whole lot of time um, on kind of sections of hope or praise or really appealing to and exploring God's character in the midst of the lament. It's just, it's really asking hard questions and just staying in that place of darkness and it doesn't resolve in the same way as some of the other lament psalms do. Um, and I think this is important. It's important for us to learn from. Um, it's important for us to learn how to lament, how to cry out, how to come with, to God with our full range of emotions. Um, and specifically this one, like there, I think there's personal lament and there's, there's personal um, times of exile almost. Uh, this was written when Israel was in exile um, in the, with the Babylonian Empire conquering them, destroying all their places of worship, taking many of them into um, Babylon to be slaves. Um, so there's definitely a communal part about this, but you could also apply this to personal experiences of suffering or silence from God or just kind of being in utter confusion and brokenness before God. Um, but yeah, I really think us learning how to lament communally. And I think there are um, communities, a lot of communities lamenting right now um, over injustice, over the injustices that have happened to the black community. And I think we need to learn, we need to listen and we need to learn. Um, that's what I've been trying to do. And I think understanding that God wants to be invited into those spaces and we need to learn how to pray um, and listen to the prayers and the cries um, of those who are lamenting. So that's kind of what I feel like this psalm does. And, um, and yeah, I want, I want to just reaffirm there's there's one part in the psalm actually that um there's not a lot of hope in it but there is this one part that talks about um god splitting open the sea by his power breaking the head of the monster in the waters crushing the heads of leviathan giving it as food to the creatures of the desert so this concept of leviathan in the bible actually is kind of a, an echo back to the serpent in the garden and uh just kind of the cosmic forces of evil in general and as we lament, um, like we know the rest of Israel's story, that out of exile, Christ or Jesus um, fulfilled all the promises that God had given. And, um, and that ultimately in the end, uh, God provided Jesus. And that ultimately in the end of history, God is, is also saying there's, a, there's an eternal hope now through Christ and through him overcoming that serpent, overcoming evil, overcoming evil with good, overcoming uh, hate with love. Um, even in the face of violence and even in the face of um, what looks like defeat often. So I think for me, this was about kind of this psalm reminded me um, that like in the end and ultimately we know that that we have hope uh, in Jesus for justice. And in the meantime, we need to lament and we need to actually bring this to God. So I just want to pray. I want to to help um help us kind of like process this through prayer. And uh, I hope this psalm was, is helpful for you as you read it and, um, and that some of these thoughts can, can help us uh, learn how to pray with the psalm. So Jesus, um, you know, where are you? What is happening? Why is, why is there this injustice? What can we do? Um, will this go on forever? Like, is there hope for history? These are the, the questions of the psalm, Lord. And I pray that we could come to you with those questions. And I pray for anyone who's experiencing what they might call a personal exile, uh, people who feel like you've just been silent for so many years or they felt so disappointed in you um, or they're wondering, like, are you there or, or can you act and what's going on? Those who are experiencing suffering. We also want to stand in prayer with um, the black community as it laments and as there's commun a lot of communal lamenting going on over uh, racism, Lord, and racism in our own Christian communities. Uh, we want to lament that fact and we want to uh, repent of that. 
And Lord, we, we just stand in this time and place in history um, and we, we need you, Lord. We, we feel broken ourselves and we feel this world is broken and we're looking for hope and uh, we put our hope in you. You are a God of um, relationship and covenant and you've, you've promised and shown us that you are faithful, that Jesus, you're the ultimate uh, answer for, for this world's needs and for our heart's needs and empower us to to live that out, uh, live those truths out into our world uh, today. So we pray these things in your name. Amen. Thank you for joining us. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I